Hey. Hey, detective? What are you doing? Oh, I found something. Great. Was it alcohol? God, no. I just got the wind knocked out of me. I think I know how to break the contract with the dark man. What exactly does that mean? Everything going back to normal. Uh, all right. Uh, I found some more information on Dorsetto and the patients. There are some seriously strange things going on here. I'm pretty sure two of the patients are dead and maybe even the clerk. Oh, yeah. I kind of just gave up on worrying about that. Well, just keep your eyes open, I suppose. What were you doing again? Jeremy made a pact with the Dark Man to keep all the madness locked inside Dorsetto. All right. I'm gonna break it. I just have to... Where is it? Where's the talisman? It's around your neck. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. I worry, detectives. Don't, I'm fine. I worry that you're not much help on this case. But at least you're a good distraction. Trust me. You're getting your money's worth. At this rate, I'm an absolute bargain. to be around here somewhere. He wouldn't leave this house. I don't know what to think anymore. You run into that detective fella. Who is he? Can he be trusted? I think he wanted a good guy. Well, you know, not good. Will he be all right with her coming? Praise the mother. He don't need nobody all that. Just calm down. It ain't time yet. Hurts. As far as I can tell, Detective Combi seems to be solving problems, not causing them. Just be ready in case he starts anything.
blocked. Blocked. Time to snoop around his office then. Lunacy in the Astarte Artist Colony. A monograph. There's a spare key to Dr. Gray's office in here somewhere. I don't have the combination for this, but maybe Jeremy did.
Detective Combe, I'm terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. Please, with all my blessings, take her away from... The last guest in the empty room suffered from severe maladies. Dr. Gray's office, all to myself. Dearest Dr. Manzetti, I find myself in a losing battle with my patient. As I've disclosed in my previous letter, his delusions have him completely captured. It's bad enough that he is torturing himself with paranoia, but his madness turns out to be quite persuasive to others, effectively laying the ground for mass delusion. I am writing to you... Let's see if we can figure this guy out. This is where McCarthy has hidden my favorite young. It's very important. I have finished tidying up Miss Beauregard's belongings. I will leave it to you.
Radiography, patient Jeremy Hartwood, date June 14, 1930. Hypothetical psychosurgery based on the ideas by Burkhardt and the St. Petersburg research. Mind if I do? That's better.
Dr. Gray had been putting And we're back here. Well, perfect time to have a look around this place. What is that?
this? This is where Jeremy's hiding, right? Hello? Is anyone there? Jeremy? I need help! Wait. Can you hear me? I'm stuck in the mud and the fire is taking Jeremy, me. where are you? The motor is dead. I can't do anything more. Hang on, Jeremy. I'll figure something out. I'll get the boat running. wedged itself right into the bayou. If I get the motor started, I could try reversing back into the river. Thank you. 
The winch is powered by electricity. I need to find a way to turn it on before I can use it. Jeremy, where are you? Jeremy was calling out for help, but Combi couldn't figure out where the voice was Pretty weak. I just need something to break it.
circle round my neck, and then I strangled all the life from my body. Are you under the impression that you died? No. I was supposed to die. What does that mean? That you were supposed to die. I'm the catalyst. I had to die to make the story good. Thirty years ago, Frederic needed me to die. You're not making any sense, Jeremy. Find hey. your focus. Hey! I cheated everyone. I didn't play my part. Hey! I escaped hey. my doom. My destiny. Again, find hey. your focus. Hey, I'm right here. What the hell is going on? Oh, everything is wrong. Nothing is in play. Hey! I'm right here! Calm down, Mr. Conby. What do you want? Did... Were you... Were you not talking to Jeremy right now? I haven't seen Jeremy all day. Are you all right, Detective? No. Actually, actually, I don't... I don't think so. Well, maybe. I'm gonna go... look for Jeremy. Good. Let me know if you find him. That was Jeremy's self-deceit? A steamboat stuck in the mud? I'm not gonna pretend I understand any of that. What a bunch of psychoanalytic nonsense. Detective Conby, good to see you again. Solved your case yet? I'm trying. Hey, Grace, you okay? Oh, she is just peachy, Detective. Are you looking forward to the Feast of St. John, Grace? I can't wait. Kids, ain't they great? What exactly are you planning for tonight? Oh, not much. We eat, we drink. A tribute to the wishing tree in the conservatory, the usual. Then why all the excitement? There is just something about tonight, something that's different. I think we all feel it. Besides, we got ourselves some new words for the prayer thanks to your buddy Jeremy. She'll come and turn the world inside out, and things will begin again. That sounds strangely threatening. You should come. Oh, God damn it, Grace. Stay put for once. I better hold on to these. Wouldn't want him to get lost. There's something missing. Jeremy knew that the only one who could help him now was the guest in room number three. The room seemed to have been empty for so long, but that wasn't allowed to be... I don't think I have everything I need.
surprisingly neat. Maybe I've been selling that old barfly short. Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. Sometimes I think this place makes me worse. That the this view. I know that number. Where's that from? I did this. The empty room. I have made many discoveries in my case. The child we want is safe, thanks to good people like me. How long have I been here? Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. Why would McCarthy lock this up? Was he trying to keep Grace from completing his shame? If so, couldn't she have just made another drawing?
What the hell happened in here? This looks familiar. How am I back at the office? Jer He's never been here. That's me. Isn't it? How long have it been since I drowned myself in drinking depression? And it all felt so peaceful, slipping away into oblivion. A welcoming dark voice wrapped around my mind like a heavy blanket. It turned off suddenly as I woke up from the sound of my office door closing shut. A messenger. I had left a telegram from Mrs. Saunders. She had a lead on where to find her husband and her kidnapped daughter. to drink so much back then. When was this exactly? What case was I working? Uh, 
I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. He was back in the French Quarter. His office, to be exact. kid got taken by her father, headed out of state, but he had made a mistake by selling a painting that his wife actually cared about to a collector named Thornhill to fund his venture. That's how I tracked him down. At least I think so. Every case can't be squeaky clean. Mr. Saunders had sold a valuable painting to Thornhill, hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. The painting, now leaning on an easel in Thornhill's bedroom, had a certain mesmerizing gloom that seemed to call out to me, telling me I was needed for something important. I felt myself falling into the painting, only being brought back by Thornhill, thrusting an address to a Hotel St. George into my hand and asking me to get the hell out. say it didn't happen.
can't go that way. On my way to the hotel, the Morton gang caught up with me. I owed them money. A lot of it. I can't remember what for. Probably some dumb gambling debt growing in size for each payment missed. I punched one of them out, and I sent the others packing. It was a stupid move. The kidnapper had sold a painting to Thornhill. The I found it. In the hotel ledger, I recognized the handwriting of the signature, Ted Stryker. It was him. I could feel it. It was the kidnapper I was hunting. I put on my knuckles and hurried up to his room. Something about that name, Ted Stryker, rings a bell. It feels vaguely familiar. But I didn't catch up with them here. I must have followed them. But where?
That's right, he was running away, ditching his old life and marriage in New Orleans to find something better in Tallahassee. And he took his daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me. But I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. Pearl River. This is where I caught up with him. This is what the dark man wanted me to revisit. But I'm still not seeing it. What am I forgetting? I didn't recognize her. I looked a little different back then, I suppose. Was any of this real? How do you mean? This day just... So much is happening. I can't... I think I've lost my head. Do you need me to apologize? I mean... I am sorry. I don't think I need to begin to explain. You, you're just a kid, Grace. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. Lies. More lies. No, really. I thought I was being a good guy by handing you over to your mother. I didn't know. I, I couldn't have known that she wouldn't care about you. I don't know how this works. What is this for? Some form of admission of guilt. Maybe acceptance. It's what the dark man wants. I guess we just watch my father die again then. You think he's alive? I know he is. He's down there, scared that he won't be able to get out. That he will drown with his daughter again. What are you saying? We gotta save him! We? Do it yourself! I'm down there with him, remember? Can I really save them? This all happened so long ago. I have to find a way to get down there. I have to see it with my own eyes. There was a boat at the house where I entered. If I can raise the bridge, I should be able to get to the car. This must be where the bridge is operated. Nothing's happening. It's like something's holding it back.
Carnby had run their car off the bridge. This must be where the bridge is on. Nothing's happening. It's like something's holding it back.
My God, Carnby. Are you okay? Don't leave me alone. What the hell have you been doing? What's going on here? Look at this mess! I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Thompson. Don't make me kick you out of this house! Now get out! Hey, Detective. Mr. Carnby. I'm really worried about you. I'm okay. I just need to catch my breath for a moment. This place? It's... There are some very disturbed figures around here, and I don't think it's just the patients. I've been reading some things about how Dorsetto has a deranging effect on people. I think it might explain... things. What? Just take it easy, okay? I'm gonna go find a way into Dr. Gray's apartment. I wanna know what he's hiding. Emily, don't worry. I think I'm close. I'm gonna set everything right. Just be careful. Calm, they had run their car. Detective, am I glad to see you. Lock the door, will you? I don't think Dr. Gray would appreciate us snooping around. What's going on here? This feels so strange. What did you do? I was just rearranging the books. Well, come on, let's check it out. I think I'm beginning to understand. Dr. Gray is dealing with some kind of mass delusion. Good to finally meet you, Mr. Hartwood. I'm here on the behalf of your brother, Philip. You were expecting me, weren't you? Yes, you're from Desetto. Uh. 
The Snake Dagger, a monograph by Yael Klein. What were you saying about mass delusion? Dorsetto seems to have a deranging effect on people living close by. It has a history of creating cults devoted to some nature goddess. Even the name Dorsetto refers to the cult existing here before the Civil War. Dorsetto was the name of an ancient fertility goddess worshipped in Syria. Dr. Gray and his friends, however, seem to prefer... the black goat of the woods with a thousand young, or Shubnigroth. And that name can only have come from my uncle's twisted mind. I think all of them are in this cult business, even Jaren. I'm not sure any of them have a choice at this point. We just need to find a way to stop all of this. Has that been there this whole time? It, it can't be. Who is this? Jeremy? Jeremy is with the Dark Man. You can't save him. Well, I've done everything he wanted so far, and there's just one more thing on the list. I expect him to keep his promise and return Jeremy unharmed. Get out, detective. While you still can. You okay? You look a little frazzled. Just... stupid telephone. I know. I tried calling the police earlier. The telephone is completely dead. It's not... Yeah, no, the telephone isn't working. Miss Hartwood, I think you're gonna want to see this. Is there something in the closet? Yeah, there is. You don't see the very obvious gate leading to whatever Jeremy's madness is serving up next? I don't understand. Are you making some kind of fashion metaphor? I'm sorry, I don't have time for this. Can you just tell me what you're doing? You don't see this! It's fine. It's 
fine. Catch you later. Are you going inside the closet? Yeah. You got a problem with that? No. Do what you think is right, Detective. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Goodbye, Miss Harper. the ancient Stellarium perched on a cliff facing the Arctic Ocean after a... here what is this place turn back detective you're not wanted here whoa take it easy i'm not your enemy oh you're wrong detective you're wrong <laughs> <laughs>
stars align, Jeremy, or maybe that is what you need to temper that mania of yours.
Hey! Stupid charlatan! What more do you want from me? You want me to lose my mind? Oh, my lord! Doctor! Baptiste! Quick! Jesus. What are you thinking, Compad? You'd be knocked out for the rest of the night. <laughs> Come on out and join us, will you? I'll save you some gumbo. Good to have you back. You gave us all a good scare. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Sorry for manhandling you, but you are being violent. You stabbed Jeremy and then punched Dr. Gray. Are they... okay? Jeremy's a little strange, but everything's back to normal. Really? All thanks to you, Combat. You want to try standing up? Well, if it isn't the hero of the day. How are you feeling, Detective? Never better. How about you two? Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? Things are fine. Very quiet. What's up with him? Painkillers? No. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher, you managed to lobotomize dear Jeremy. I did what? It's actually quite impressive. It's not like I hadn't considered it myself. I just wish Jeremy could have been helped without reducing his personality to that of an oyster. But... He's gonna live. Of course. As long as someone keeps feeding him, he'll outlive the best of us. Everyone knows what to do? Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. Hell are there praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever Hear there us, us and the and 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 black goat of the woods. Um, 
Jeremy, come with me. Get over here. Jeremy, come with me. Jeremy, come here. No, there has to be a death of that. We're I can't let that monster leave Dorsetto. I have to stop it.
The techno. Oh, what the hell was that? I try to tell you. There was so much evidence. Their devotion to the black goat was like nothing I've ever seen before. I felt so dumb believing any of it, but I'm glad I did. Are you okay? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. How are you doing, sweetie? I kind of like it. You ruined everything, but I'm not mad. All right, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. We're leaving. Can I come? I thought you said you didn't need saving. Don't leave her. She's important. Of course we're taking her with us.